Okay, so eight weeks ago, I filmed the home gym tour video, yeah? That was the very first video on this channel, but check this, yeah? This is eight weeks later. This is the new gym. Check this one out. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that little intro thing that we got going on at the start. But anyways, we're gonna get into it now. Before we start, I beg you, just go drop a like real quick, man. Yeah? Go sub if you haven't subbed, because I promise you it helps. I promise you it helps so much more. But anyways, yeah, do that first. If you can do that for me, that'd be amazing. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna go give you pretty much the whole rundown of everything that I've got. Prices, how much I bought stuff for, how much it all goes for, all of this shit, yeah? It's all going into one video. So with an item, for example, we'll start here, yeah? So this is a, this is a decline bench, sit up bench, if you would call it right and pretty much i bought this for 20 squids so it was barely anything for this innit? but these usually go for about 60 so if you're looking on the screen now i've got how much it costs how much i pay for it over here that's how we're going to do it for the whole video and uh yeah the names are going to be here so if you want to go buy anything for yourself check it out and um, go go ahead and do it right but most of the stuff i bought is all been quite like secondhand stuff quite old stuff um, and i've just kind of like made a bit of free but yeah first one decline bench body sculpture i got this for 20 pound cost 60 quid um this was kind of just like it's just kind of there innit? Um, <laughs> it kind of just makes it look good, innit? But all uh, right, yeah, whatever. No one actually uses this anyway, yeah? So we'll move on. And um, here, this is a hyper extension machine, yeah? Um, this one is got, it had a little ripping when I bought it. I bought this for 25 pound. Um, these usually go for around 60 to 70 quid on um, Amazon and stuff. Obviously, you can get different branded ones, but I'm, in my opinion, they all kind of work the same, innit? So I don't really see why you would have to get one that's more expensive. But yeah, you get, you get what I mean. This is sick. This is honestly the most beautiful thing. This is what our gym was missing when we were back in the gym. But yeah, yeah, moving that way, we've got, we got to pull up, mate, yeah? This is a bad boy. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy I got this. Basically, yeah, um, if you haven't seen it already, this kind of pulls off, and you can use it as dips. You can use it as this. It's very portable. It comes all in a big bag, big duffel bag. Um, and, yeah, this has probably been the one thing that we've been using the most out here um, because, I mean, calisthenics is it's a very easy kind of um, route to go if you ain't got nothing in your garden or if you ain't got nothing to train with at home. You can, you can put this anywhere. I mean, it's quite tall, but you can, it can go anywhere really. But um, we bought this for 55 pounds. These go for about 130 pounds on the website, <laughs> which is beautiful. So, I mean, I don't really know what the guy was on. Yeah, but I didn't really give a shit in it. He sold it to me for cheap, so I am I gonna say no? Of course not. If you see here, fat grips, yeah? I'm pretty sure everyone's seen probably a pair of these in their life, yeah? Basically, they go around the bar like such, and um, it makes it ridiculously hard to grip, um, pretty much. So it's, it's a lot, it's to work on grip work, pretty much. Uh, at the moment, Leon kind of put these there so we can get on top of the fucking thing. Sorry. Oh shit. Slide it come off. This way. No. What, this way? Yeah. Piece of... ah. Ah. Shit. Fuck, they're looking at me. Ah. Shit, I can't do it. <laughs> ah. Got it. Yeah. So that's what they're there for now. Oh, this is bare high. Yo, I don't like this. But yeah, um, all right, wait. Yeah, that's pull up, mate, innit? <laughs> if, I mean, you, uh, you, you lot, if you watch my videos, innit, you've seen this before. It's pretty much a battle rope that um, I wasn't using and I bought it a while ago. So I um, tied it to the tree, jumped up the tree, tied it at the top, made it come all the way down, attached the tire to the end of it, and it's. And it's now a swing. Cool, man. It's real cool. But yeah, this rope cost me, what, 40 quid from Decathlon. And I mean, I just kept it ever since I got it, really, because it's just fun. And we do dumb shit with it, as you're going to be seeing now. You're welcome. Uh, moving on. Yeah. Here, look at all of this. This is the little resistant band kind of tree. Yeah. And it's all got different um, length kind of um, resistance bands on. For example, and also, some of them come with clips, some of them don't. Some of them say how much 
resistance they, they add apparently yeah for example over here some of them oh maybe not that one also oh, this one so yeah like six kilos 12 kilos 20 kilos so it's like they've got all of their resistance resistance on right and these are kind of helpful as well just to have here in case um if you want to use anything i can't find regular res resistance bands anywhere it's so stupid imagine i want to find these ones yeah the normal ones that you get in the gym and that yeah, I can't find them, so I had to buy these. But I bought these all for five pounds off some guy that I don't live too far in it. Uh, I don't want to say nothing bad in it. I don't know if you're gonna be watching the video, but yeah, um, I bought this off of him in it, and uh, he gave them to me for a decent price in it. Five pound, good price. Uh, oh, I think I'll, you know what? Yeah, over here, this is the tire stack. If you haven't seen the video, the stupid video of me making this, yeah, for no particular reason at all, go watch that in it. It'll probably pop up on like in the little corner thing, in the little. I don't know what it called. yeah that but inside here this is where we quick keep all the kind of like the bags and stuff um for anyone that comes through anyways you chuck the bags in there just in case it's raining or anything um it's got mats it's got ab mats in there it's got um a duffel bag for the pull up mate and it's got a gun <laughs> but yeah that's what we use that for um in the back there's just a couple extra tires for a couple experiments i've had um there's the shopping baskets that we um we borrowed from tesco <laughs> we, uh yeah and they just got tools extra shit in there some boxing gloves and that but uh yeah cheers bro cheers tesco's <laughs> Moving over to this little section here, yeah. I've got a couple of weights here. Um, I'll talk about them in a second. But what I'm sitting in right now is a big tractor tire. Basically, how I got this, I had to fight a tractor to steal this tire in it. But uh, yo, I got a little bruise on my leg and that. I've got a couple scars in that, but mine, I got, I got the tire in the end of it. So pretty much what this is used for is just um, deadlifts and uh, carrying stuff in a big tire. And it looks cool as well. And I sit in it and it's cool. But um, basically what I've done, if you haven't seen this video either, it's gonna pop up somewhere as well. But I uh, I drilled holes into the side, put rope in so that I can kind of use it as a handle. And um, yeah, I can put um, a bars through there. I can pretty much rest my Olympic bars on top of here and do rack pulls under the knee because it comes up kind of like pretty much perfectly. And uh, yeah, that was this was a little fun experiment, innit? Uh, there's a lot more I can talk about this, but I don't want to really do that, innit? <laughs> I'ma move on. But here, medicine ball, got it, bang, boom. See that? Stay there. All right. Coming over to the little dumbbell section. It's quite small at the moment, but uh, it's fine. But here, these are just um, small, tiny dumbbells I put for all of us to use. These are quite light. I think these are about 12 kilos. These ones here, these are about 15. Uh, here's a here's the bag. All of the resistance bands came in, and um, pretty much all it's got at the moment is just like handles, grips, ropes, a couple more resistance bands. But it's pretty much anything that's in the garden that's quite loose. I just chuck it in a bag, so it's all in one spot. We have a um, an easy bar that is such a weird size you can't actually put no plates on it so it's just retarded it just sit, it sits there in it and stares at all of us when we're working bear weird but uh oh shit. you can stay there innit? basically um so going back yeah the tire cost me uh <laughs> nothing uh, basically put it this way i'm borrowing it for a while innit and i'm gonna give it back to. but yeah <laughs> scrap that forget about that yeah uh come on onto the plates here yeah uh right here we have uh, iron cast york 20 plates vintage uh a <laughs> little bit rusty in that little bit yeah but that's fine and no one cares but yeah old 20 plates we've got fives there we've got a pair of pens there the reason i put these all together is because i bought these all as a bundle pretty much uh i bought them all plus a pair of 15s I've already sold for 100 quid plus a bar as well. But so basically, I bought a seven foot bar, 20 plates, 15 plates, 10 plates, five plates for 100 pound, if that makes sense. Basically, it was just, she was just like a really nice woman in it, but she didn't know how much to sell weight for and I kind of just took advantage and didn't say anything. Not saying that I take advantage of people, no, 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 no. Uh, but yeah, I, as in weight wise, as in I made money off of it, so it's fine. Oh, that sounds so bad. All right, cool, whatever. But you've all seen this one before. This is the the beautiful uh, bag that I kind of ripped open a little. Yeah, that was my fault. So I taped him up, taped him up real good, and uh, he's all right now, isn't it? But uh, he's a victim to a lot of things. Not, oh man. He is a victim to the kicks and the punches of Vicious Leon behind the door. Leon, chill, bro. <laughs> but yeah, he's a scary guy, put it that way. But yeah. We had to hang it upside down because we pretty much broke all of the bloody clips. So I had to kind of clip it with a carabiner myself. Uh, they're weird. Don't ask what the hell's going on, but I had to do that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm joking. 
Uh, yeah, but uh, the one thing that has stayed the same, yeah, from the very start, I think, apart from a couple other things moving around, are the lovely skipping rope, the lovely skipping rope collection. We have the weighted rope, oh, beautiful. The red, beautiful rope. We have the, the blue rope, and we have the, I don't know what, what material was this? The, the one that feels like it's about to break rope. But, uh, yeah, do skipping, it's good. But, move over here, look at this. This is my power saw that I bought, yeah? You like that? Yeah, obviously, um, it's kind of been a little bit, a uh, little bit. Uh, what do you call it? I was like, it's been bare sunny, that's it. That's <laughs> I couldn't find the word in my head. Yeah, it's been bare sunny, so I had to invest in a nice little parasol to keep us safe. And I realized, oh shit, Lewis, you're an idiot. You didn't buy the little weights from the bottom. So, what's holding these up right now is these 10 kilo plates on either corner. And here, these are two Marcy plates, dry grip. These are just the double grip body max ones, right? So that's pretty much 40 kilos, keeping the whole thing up. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's a little bit of the collection. So, um, these, all of these, I'm gonna come to like when I bought them in a second, but um, because the kind of like a couple of the bundles are kind of confusing, so I have to say them at the end, didn't it? I have to go through everything and say them at the end. But uh, these pretty much they came in a bundle of weight that I bought for a shit ton of money. Uh, it's nuts. What? Is it on? Yes. All right, basically what I'm sitting on now is uh, my new bench. This is my master bench, okay? This thing, Jesus Christ. I pretty much paid um, £160 for it because I needed a leg extension machine and uh, the curls as well because my other one was really shit. My other bench was like, um, pretty much I thought I was gonna die under 150 kilos on the bench. So um, I decided to invest in a new one. But this one is cool, man. Check this out. So we've got the, we've got the, 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 the leg extensions, yeah? Got curl, it's got the leg curls as well. Imagine that my legs they curls in. Uh, it's got even incline settings, it's got um seat settings so you can move it all up, so it's really adjustable. 160 pound I bought this for new, I think it goes for about 180. So that was all right, it was practically new when I got it as well. And I mean, I'm trying to keep it in good condition, but um, it's very stable as well. See, yeah, don't move, uh, but yeah, that's it's sick, it's sick, well, well expensive. Uh, behind me, behind me, what we got. Leave this, leave this bastard for a second. We're moving over here. Yeah, this is the second commercial squat rack that I bought. It's pretty much fully adjustable. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, this whole whole thing's pretty adjustable. You can move these, of course, up and down. Move these up and down. You can move it in, out, and at the back, it's got dip handles in it, so you can dip as well. And when you're spotting someone, you can dip and just be like, yeah, keep going, keep going. Whilst you're doing your thing, it's all just like win-win situation, isn't it? I'm waffling. Alright, uh, but yeah, well, good. Um, I bought this as a part of another bundle in it but pretty much in the bundle it cost about 130 pounds these new usually for a very good one you can find them at maybe 200 220 pounds somewhere around that margin right um but yeah this was sick because i, I went through three racks i went through a shit decathlon one a decent one but they were two separate stands and i thought they were going to snap at one point and then to this which is like what i'm keeping at the moment um the last upgrade if i was to ever have a last upgrade will be a power rack with the cable in the back because I'm missing the cable. I'm missing the cable so much. But yeah, um, moving on from that part to this bad boy, if you can see what this is, this is a beautiful seven foot bar. To all of you lot that don't invest in yourself and invest in the gym, peak, you haven't touched one of these in a while. This is a York power bar, which is, I think it's seven foot three or seven foot four. This thing is, oh my goodness, this thing is beautiful. It's got, it's pretty much the bar that you, the bar that you need, isn't it? For anything, for any powerlifting shit, this is the bar that you want. It is amazing, it's amazing. I bought this was the bar I bought with all the other weight, yeah. So I bought this in a package for 100 pounds. These things go for I think like 250, like 250, 260 ish, somewhere around there, which is nuts, yeah. This is why I said I took a little bit, like I took advantage a little bit, but I don't care because I have to bench nicely in it. That's why the whole setup over here is sick. But I'm I'm waffling again, fucking hell. Um, yeah, this was a sick bar. I've been through three seven foot barbells now. The first one I got was a squat bar. Couldn't really bench with it, it wasn't amazing. Sold that uh, for 170. Bought another bar, which was brand new. And then I bought this bar and I was able to pick through between the two. I picked the newest one um, and I sold the other one for 180. I'm a money man. All right, move on. Come on, back over here. This is a six foot um, Olympic bar. It's a little bit bent, if you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of twisting a little bit, a little bit bent. Okay, so in a Vinco bar, it has a 225 kilo um, 
max weight on it, I think. I think that's what it is. But um, yeah, it's stupidly thin and it's good for anything that's not compound. But I just bought it so that we can use it on the side and no one really gives a shit about it. But coming over here, first of all, before I go to the plates, this is the be beautiful weight stack that we kindly got from a, a good friend, a good friend of mine. He badders, yeah, he got this for me, yeah, from when he went brum. Uh, 50 quid, this thing holds everything pretty much. And um, I'm very grateful for him getting it for me, but yeah, sick, well sick. Start off here, we have Body Max 2.5 plates. We have four of them, they cost me 20 pounds. There are eight 1.25s here, they're all Body Max. They cost me 20 pounds as well. So the first rack, 40 quid. These usually go for around that, maybe a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I got them quite nicely anyways. Coming all the way to the bottom because these were these are pretty much where the templates would go. Yeah, obviously I've got the templates elsewhere. But yeah, these are template racks. Over here, the first the first ones we have, these are the, yeah, you want this one. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, Marcy Tri Grip. Um, 44 pounds apparently, yeah. 20 plate. Um, the second one we got are the hammer strength 25 kilos and there is no way in hell I'm getting the 50 plates out. But we have Hampton 50 plates, which are practically only used for deadlifts here. Um, I get scared when I take them off because I think I'm gonna like roll them on my feet and shit. I nearly had this like break my ankle, so I just don't really want to touch it. But yeah, they're all the plates. So all of the all the plates, pretty much, I can go into it now. Um, I bought the um, the squat rack, a bar, practically all of these plates here, and the templates for 650 pounds in a big bundle, um, which was quite sick to be honest. Uh, but then I had to sell all my old one inch plates. So uh, that was kind of a little process, but everything went really quickly. And I'm very grateful that I, I, I'm very happy that I did swap it out um, because these are just better sets. Oh well, shit, what the hell. What I'm holding in my hand, if you can see already, an Olympic dumbbell. These things are beautiful. Um, these have a loading capacity of I really don't know uh, because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> but yeah, um, got two of these. At the moment, if you can find that bell and they're selling them for an alright price on um, Facebook, they'll go for like 80 quid. But every, everyone else selling for about 150, something stupid like that. It's dumb, but it's just the way it is. This one, same thing, but I've got three clips on the top, two collars on the side. The reason I have two collars, because with one of the bars, the collars come with them, and these came with the dumbbells. So it's a little bit retarded, but who cares anyways. But yeah, these were probably the last purchase that I made. Yeah, maybe something like that, but uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty much, if I think about it, that's pretty much everything in the gym. But um, all together, I've come to a conclusion at the moment in the gym, um, I think I've spent around 2,500 pounds. So that's what it's worth. No, that's better. Yeah, so the gym is now worth around 2,400 to 2,500 pounds altogether for all the weight, everything. So that's with the original prices on the stores um, or if they don't sell them on the stores or I can't find them online, I put them on um, the Facebook kind of, uh, the Facebook value for example so the second hand value of all of it uh, but yeah 2500 pound uh, of course i didn't actually spend anything in it because i just buy and sell um but yeah i made all my money back plus a good shit ton more but yeah this is what the gym's looking like at the moment all together all the spent like the kind of like the spending i've been doing i think i've spent around two grand um, but obviously I've made all of that back. Yeah, I'm happy to say that I made all of this without actually spending a thing on actual stuff inside here, yeah, which is nuts, you're never gonna see that again then. But um, yeah, anyways, that is my new eight week kind of interval stage of the home gym, I guess. This is kind of like what, the updated tour. It's like the, yeah, it's like the updated tour, pretty much. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've got going on here, um, seeing the process that it took. But yeah, if you like this video, please drop a like. It does help a lot more than you think. Make sure you subscribe if you're new comment down below if you want to see anything else you know just feed me ideas in it i like ideas but yeah anyways follow the instagram if you don't already because i do post on there quite a lot as well but anyways thank you guys for your time hope you're having a blessed day and i'll catch you in a bit peace